Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. I'm out here today fishing one of the most common beginner baits there is. Jig head and a grub. Let's check it out. Everyone out there has seen this kind of product. Little curly tail grubs. When you buy a kit like this, it comes with some jig heads. Let's get a couple of these grubs on the hook and show you my rig. I'm gonna try the orange on top. And I'm gonna try green on the bottom, this chartreuse sparkle. One, two, two grub rig. Let's check the water temperature before I go much further. It's a nice day today. It's probably 60 degrees right now. The water temperature, however, is lower than that. We're already down to 55. It's going to go below 55. We're at 53. 52. 52.2. That's cold. I think a white bass or a yellow bass, maybe even a small largemouth bass, is all that might be out here today. There could be a bluegill, you never know, but I have a feeling I won't get anything here. I need to fish a much calmer cove where the water can warm up faster. I'll try here, but I have a feeling we'll be leaving pretty quickly. Gonna use a subtle drag and kind of pause. Drag, pause. I don't really want them to get too close to the bottom. They will get snagged. This is not a weedless, snagless kind of lure right here. been so damn cold at night that the water's not heating up 52 degrees it almost feels like it went down another degree all right let's go try over here by the boat launch these lousy temperatures are not really warming up the water like I would like them to it kind of forces me to go with what I already know, and that's yellow bass in the creek about 10 miles away from here. And I always get those people, you need to fish different spots. This ain't the Guggen Squad. I don't have the luxury of just going to some random lake wherever, whenever. This is real life. I go to my local lake when I have time because that's realistic for me. Armchair quarterbacks, backseat fishermen. Yeah, there ain't nothing here. Just as I suspected, I gotta go to where the fish are. 
even if that means going somewhere I've already been I'm gonna do it because I want to catch something all right we're back at the shallow creek because this is the only place I know there are fish let's see if anything will go for these grubs I guess we'll try off the pier first just so I can get some casts parallel to the bank Picking up some green slime. So far I haven't even had a bite. Using little grubs and jigs like this, since they're constantly moving to avoid being snagged, the fish have to be a little more aggressive If I don't get any, that might have been a fish, I don't know. If I don't get any bites on this, I'm going to have to switch to something like a gulp minnow drop shot so I can just leave the bait in their face. Because cold fish are usually not very active. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on the grubs. Let's see what I got. Let me tighten my drag just a little bit. There we go. That looks like a yellow bass. This is why I came back. Good size yellow bass right here. That's exactly why I came back to this fishing spot. Nice yellow bass. Got him on those little grubs. Let's see if I can find some more. So far I got one yellow bass and that was on the green jig. We're going to have to keep going and see which color they like better. If all I ever get bites on is the green jig, we'll put another green one on and take this orange one off of here. This water is about 52 degrees. There seems to be a few yellow bass out here. Hopefully I can get some more. fish. Feels like a good one. This one's putting up a good fight. Probably another yellow bass. Here it comes. Swimming towards me. There we go. Good fight on this one. Good size. You're going to get those bigger fish when you fish with a larger artificial like this jig. Larger artificial in a pan fishing sense. It's not it's not a big jig as far as bass fishing goes. Good size of yellow here. Second one of the day. One more on the green jig. I'm going to change them both to green. Fish. Feels like another good one. It's another yellow bass. Got him on that green jig. These are pretty good size. I would guess, you know, eight or nine inches. Maybe, yeah, nine inches. Sit in my hand here for a good look. There we go. Good looking fish. All right, I'm getting another chartreuse grub here to replace that orange one. Hopefully I'll get a few more bites. That's the thing with fishing a bait like this is you got to go where the fish are first, then figure out what they want. Let's keep trying. There's another. Another yellow, another yellow. Look at those fins, he's trying to get me. Nice.
I'm fishing that 13 code black. Got it from Academy. I actually have three of them because they were such good deals. Fish. This one isn't very big. Good fighter though. Hey, now that's an aggressive little sunfish. Got a long eared sunfish here. Come on, I'll let you go. There we go. Tough little guy right here. One for that grub. Look at that grub compared to him. Pretty constant breeze blowing right at me. I'm glad I'm out here fishing with... There's a hawk. I'm glad I'm using the spinning reel today, otherwise casting would be tough. All right, let's try a few oddball casts, maybe across the way here. Fish. Another nice yellow bass. You know, these would be good for eating. If I was hungry and looking for something, these fish are good to eat. So shallow creeks in the low 50s. I'm getting yellow bass on grubs. So far it's a pretty good day. I think I got six or seven. All right, one more cast off the pier, then I'm gonna start working down the bank. Fish. That feels like a good one. Of course, I'm always looking for that 11 incher. Tripping on logs. I'm looking for that 11 incher to get that state trophy recognition. Wow, you see that catch? This is not it. This is more like nine inches. Got that one. Good fight. Another yellow. Good looking fish here. That's a good one. That feels like a good one. I'm hoping for that 11 incher, you never know. Oh, that's a nice one. That's the biggest one all day. Instead of getting real long, these guys tend to get big and fat. Let's take an extra close look at this one. Wow. Now that is a big yellow bass. Let's get a measurement just for the record. Come on, you're getting all covered in dirt and stuff. I'm gonna let you go, I'm just measuring. Nine and a half. A big fat yellow bass like this, nine and a half. So an 11, wow. Let's let this guy go before he gets too pissed covered in leaves and stuff. That was a nice one though. Nine and a half inches. Let's keep going. Oh, did I snap the line? Oh man, snap the line. 
snapped off. Well, that's okay. I got more than enough fish to show that these little grubs work. You just gotta find the right situation. In this case, yellow bass. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.